What is up, Retromaniacs? My name is Mike. His name is Joe. His name is EP. We're here to talk about cards. He does it a lot anymore. <laughs> that guy wants to run the show. So we're going to let him have his way again. Joe, we're going to play a little game this week, right? Tell the viewers yes. what we're going to do. Someone has to run this damn thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping up. I'm, I'm stepping sick up. of doing it. <laughs> All right. We did this before. We're doing it again. We had a lot of fun with it. Uh, Mike is going to uh, link the previous one right here, I'm sure. Definitely. You have to put the cards in anyway. So it's just a little bit of extra work. Not much. But <laughs> we played kind of a version of the dating game. We're calling it the grading game. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you boys five cards. And you're going to have to match them up with the five grading companies. PSA, mm. in no particular order, people, so don't flame me in the comments. <laughs> PSA, BGS, SGC, um, what am I missing? CGC, and TAG. We're going to do TAG this oh, time. Oh, okay. I was wondering now, what the fifth right. was. Yeah. So now you can choose to decide not to grade any of these cards. That's like a free space, right? Okay. So you can, you can do that as well. Keep the card raw. Last time I gave you... Cards that were, you know, higher price, but not out of control high price. This time we're going to do high end cards. Mm. And this is how I'm going to, we're not high end card people. Well, maybe I'm looking for a Tom Brady rookie that's expensive, but other than that, we're not really <laughs> high end card people, not super high end card people, but this is what I'm thinking. We're now officially influencers. We're over a thousand subscribers. Like, we're monetizing everything. We are influencing people and how they hobby, right? So stop shaking Gross. your head, Mike, because it's distracting <laughs> me. So what I'm thinking is someone might have found one of these cards in their grandmother's attic. Maybe they opened up a box of cards and found one of these one of these high-end cards. And they're asking our opinion. Where should I send it to be graded? So that's how we're playing this game. Are you guys ready? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, we always say this: play, play along at home. Yep. Put your put your uh, yep. put your comments below on, on how you would do this. All right. So this is how we're going to do it. You can only use the grading company once. Okay. Remember from the last game. So we're going to do these random style. EP, I'm going to let you pick the first one. Card one, two, three, four, or five. Four. Card number four. Ooh, this is a good one. 2003 to 2004, Topps Chrome Refractor, LeBron James rookie card. Oh, Where are you sending that? Well, We've got all sorts of cards here. We've got <laughs> basketball, soccer. No, not soccer. Never mind. We've got basketball, hockey, football. We've got everything. All right, EP, where are you sending that LeBron James Topps oh, Chrome man. rookie refractor to be graded? I think PSA. I just, like this is a card that I would love to own in my possession, but it would be way way more than my my should be. I mean, anything should be, my PC should never be worth that amount of money. So I get it graded with PSA because it's got the highest resale value. So that's probably where I'd go. Okay. Now keep in mind you can't use PSA anymore. So this is yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, there's uh, some the thing is coming up. I'm just saying. Sure. 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 But I mean, this is like ultra ultra modern. Like this is like this is a card that's going to be people are going to be clamoring for. So I feel like this is the one I want to. Why don't use my for my PSA on? Okay, Mike, how about you? Now with tag, we're we're playing that they'll yeah. grade anything. They'll right? grade anything. Okay. Thickness, you know, years, whatever. They'll grade anything. I'm gonna go with Beckett. Okay, because I'm afraid to use PSA yet, and I think Beckett would give a good secondary, you know, price value to it over time. So Beckett would be my call. All right. So I know all the cards. I think I'm with Mike on this. I think I go BGS for this one just because, again, there's some bangers coming up. This might be the lowest value card. Oh, okay. Maybe might not. not be. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> I'm guessing not. <laughs> all right. All right, Michael. One through uh, – so we have one, two, three, and five available. You want card number two. All right. This one is going to throw you guys for a loop. You're going to be shocked by this one. 2015 2016 SPX Connor McDavid RPA 
numbered out of 399. EP's been talking hockey recently. Mikey, wow. we're a huge hockey guy. This is a massive card. His one of his biggest rookie cards. Mike, where are you sending it to? Con- Connor McJesus, I'm told, is what he's Connor he's McJesus. Told. Yeah. Wow, man, I wish I would have saved Beckett because <laughs> RPA. I'm feeling good about having oh, Beckett. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, brother. You know, ooh, that's a big card. Big that card. is a big card, but PSA does not like yeah. RPAs. I'm not familiar enough with how they grade these cards. I don't know how rough they are, though, so this makes it really difficult. I'm going to go with... The safe choice of SGC. Okay. Makes sense. EP? Oh, BGS. Hands down. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, BG, BGS is like the for the thick cards. Like, that's where you send the thick cards. And it is. It's got the, the, they got the, the, the different the grading scale. So, I mean, yeah. 100%. Mm. Yeah. Can we re-record my first <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll just right. edit that out. Yeah, just edit that out. Just... Put put uh, a voiceover of you saying <laughs> PGS. Um, all right, I, yeah, I think I think that might be the right call with BGS there, with it being a, a super thick card, and it is spoiler alert the only thick card in this mm. group. So, right. good good job, EP. Okay, whose turn is it? EP. Yeah, mm-hmm. one, three, or five. Let's go three. Three. Oh, this is a good one too. I love all of these cards. <laughs> they're all they're all good. They're all good. All right, 2001, SP Authentic, Tiger Woods Autograph Rookie Card. Woof. Numbered out of 900. This is his true rookie card in the set. So this is, this is, uh, we opened up a little uh, SP Authentic back Mm. in the day, but we were mostly opening up the upper deck stuff, Mike. (laughs) I remember correctly. I had a little, little pile. No Tiger Woods autos in that. EP, where are you sitting? Man. Oh, I'm torn because like, I feel like the SP authentic is going to look great in a tux, but I need to, I feel like I need to save SGC. I feel like I need to save SGC. Okay. So I'm going to go tag. Okay. I think t- tiger woods, a golf card. It's not like, it's not like the mainstream type stuff. So if I get a tag 10 out of this card in, in theory, then it's still going to be a really good card. So I'm going to kind of take a chance on tag for this one. And yeah, I'll, I'll take, take, take tag. Yeah. Okay. Tag, tag, tag. Tag, tag, tag. Tag, tag, You said autograph, correct? Yes. Yep. It's his base auto rookie. I am going to use PSA. Okay. Because they can grade and authenticate the autograph, whereas tag, you don't know if it's real or not. And That's correct. That's a good we've point. talked a lot on this channel. We don't know if they're real, even if the company says so. So <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I saved PSA. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I might have I might have kept this one raw. I'm not 100 percent sure. Ooh, that's tough. All right, Mike, one or five. Well, I was a big George Brett fan. So let's you said that on the last five. one. I thought you picked five the first <laughs> time. All right, card number five, 1990 tops. Frank Thomas, no name. Look at me bringing baseball, <laughs> no. golf. I'm yeah, tired yeah. of the research I did on this. Well, Frank Thomas, no name. I'm afraid to answer because I'm going to be left with tag for whatever the next one is. <laughs> Although I could go raw, right? I you could go raw. Yes, that is right. your free well, I am going to go with CGC. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of theirs at the moment, but I feel like that card might kind of you know, rise above whatever holder it's in because of the rarity of it. So I I feel confident in going with CGC and hoping that it doesn't get stolen while it's there. (laughs) Just saying, just saying. That's fair. That's fair. All right, EP. I am so excited about how this has played out. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second before you answer. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know what number one is. Yeah. Depending on how you answer, look at my face. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. So EP, what do you got? I am ecstatic. This is going to be going my SGC choice. Um, I listen. I listen. I figure there's going to be some <laughs> crazy vintage thing coming up. But dude, dude, SGC that 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 card in SGC slab, and I'm gonna. It is going to kill me to try to sell that thing because that is one of those cards that 
I've always wanted to have uh, in, in, in my possession. So I have a potential for it to be a PC card. I love that GC slab. Put it in the tux. I love the card in the, in the tux. So there we go. Well, regardless of what happens, uh, Mike, you're going to win because of that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. This number one, I think EP specifically, because you had a chance to do this. You're going to be kicking yourself a little bit. Number one, 1958 tops, Jim Brown rookie card. <laughs> I picked SGC for this one. I think I won. <laughs> you knew the cards. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I did pick out the cards. I did pick You're out not the cards. part of this. Wait, who does, so, who does Mike have left? Wait, wait. So Mike, <laughs> right now, Mike has tag or raw. I don't know which one I would pick in this situation. I go first. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to keep it raw. I'm not putting that in a tag slab. No way. I'm sorry. I, I yeah, no way. I'm going to put it. And a really nice, what do you call them? A a pro mold one touch. Yeah, but you have a special name for them, don't you? No, I guess you don't. No, anyway, no. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in a one touch, and I'm gonna be happy with it. Okay. Because EP? what are my options? <laughs> right, right. Like, Sad or tag? Blood. Yeah. Do I, do I take the chance of sending it to CGC and having it being stolen? No. Raw. You see. Wow. But yeah, so, did I say CGC? I thought I said you said SGC. I meant to say CGC. Maybe I could be so, wrong. I yeah. usually am wrong, but that's all. I have to edit nope. this video. Wrong. Did my wrong. Um, Not good. All right. So this this to recap. Very interesting. So Jim Brown, you both said raw. The SPX McDavid, EP wins with the BGS. Mike said SGC. The Tiger Woods SP Authentic Autograph Rookie Card. EP sent in the tag. Mike sent in the PSA. The LeBron Topps Chrome Rookie Refractor. EP sent in the PSA. Mike sent in the BGS. And then the uh, Frank Thomas No Name. EP sent in the SGC. Mike is sent in the CGC. You might get it back, Mike. We're not 100% sure. It won't end up in a <laughs> slab and sold as a 9.8. Who knows? But... <laughs> So, so we do this exercise. We did it last time. We do this exercise just to prove you can send different cards to different places. Though with that Jim Brown EP, it was so close. You were so close to having that Jim Brown <laughs> SGC G slab. I think I think that was the big fail for Listen, you. Listen, Frank Thomas, that, that as rare as that card is, I want it to be slabbed. I want it to be so like it needs to be in something. SGC sounds perfect for me. I'm, I don't feel bad at all about my decision. How do you feel, Mike? I feel good. I, yeah. I think I made good choices there. I, I feel like that Tiger Woods and a PSA is going to be, you know, EP talked about the LeBron being, you know, an important card. I, I think the Tiger is above that. I, I just do. And it, the autograph is going to be authenticated. We're going to know it's real. I'm going to add more value to it. I feel like I clearly won this by picking that <laughs> alone. So. All right. So we have two things for the viewers to do. Go down, let, let us know, us know how you would do it, me. and <laughs> let us know whose batch you like better down in the comments below. That's all I have for you boys on the card grading game, episode two, the lamest video that you'll see on the internet this week. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See ya, boys. See ya. Thank you, thank you guys. See ya.